<laughs> I was gonna say Reagan. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. Uh, anyway, I don't know why I was gonna say that. But anyway, so, 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 so. Um, I think I turned hints on, um, at some point, and him saying, oh, freaking dead bodies out of place, that means something. It's kind of meaning that we should call Jerry. Don't ask me how that works, but I will call Jerry and be like, hello, Jerry, I love you. I love you, Jerry. Yes? Hi, Jerry. Michael, I was worried about you. Are you doing okay? Yes, I'm fine. I think I know the identity of my intruder. Tell me, who is it? James Blackwood. The Blackwood person? Michael, are you serious? That the ghost of the murderer is roaming the house? I'm not talking about his ghost, Jerry. I'm talking about him. It's him in the flesh. I mean James Blackwood himself, alive in this house. What? How is that possible? It makes sense. After murdering his wife and realizing what he has done, he begs for help to Christopher Milton, who fakes his death. What? Milton? The previous owner? Michael, you're losing your mind. Even if he managed to hide himself, how did he survive all this time? Milton has been missing for years. I don't point, know. But I'm sure a desperate man like Blackwood would have found a way. Yes, by turning into a ghost. Wait a minute. Oh shit, a date, you guys. I have it right here. James Blackwood passed away on June 1963. Would you please stop this? Jerry, just listen to me. I know I'm right. There's only Mrs. Blackwood's body in the crypt. His is missing. Oh god, Michael. You've really gone out of your mind. Digging into coffins, what next? Desecrating the chapel? Whatever yes. it takes to solve this mystery. You can only find stories like this in books. Precisely why I'm beginning to wonder Ooh. about your sanity. All video you'll games. See. You'll see. You'll all see. Okay. So, oh my god. The frame rate is really good for some reason. I'm almost afraid that... Yeah, the frame rate's actually quite nice right now. Anyway, um... I said that in the last video, but anyway. Let's go to the attic. Because we got a date. And that date was June something, but it was a June saddle. That's all I know. Uh, the equivalent to the internet is this attic. It's filled with scary yet intriguing things. Uh huh. I searched June 1963. Here she go. <coughs> the article wasn't as informative as I had hoped, but there was a phone number scribbled on the page. Oh, that damn phone number scribbled on the page right there, yeah? Alright. Let let me write down this phone number on my giant erase board. It says Bailey or something. And then there's a zero. I think that's a zero. Is that supposed to be a one? Cause it, okay, zero, one... Six six five six five two one seven. That one could also be uh the symbol for a null set. <laughs> okay, if you wanted to read that, you could. I don't really want to. It just talks about how cops and him and shit. But not very interesting in my opinion, especially since I've read it like four times already. Me, I'm gonna go down and talk to Bailey. Bailey, sounds like a pretty girl's name. All right, you're wondering. There's no goddamn foam in here. Foam, yeah. There's no foam in here, Pixie. Of course, there isn't foam, but there is neither a phone. But what I'm gonna do here is kind of be like, hey, you can't see it anymore. Hey, you can't see it anymore. Okay, whatever. That lady's just like. Shh. Leave me the goddamn motherfucking alone, man. Because that's what she probably sounds like. She's probably really ghetto. It's like, you ain't seen nothing after you've seen me. Um, angry. November 11th. Where did that pen go? <laughs> I had a pen, I just wrote down. What? I'm so unorganized. Oh, there you go. So that's a Bailey phone number. But remember, we checked this out a while ago. There is actually a contact number on here. And I want to call the people who are on the other end of this contact number and ask them a couple of questions 
that I'm sure they will not mind that I'm asking them. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So we got some phone numbers out the butt, man, and we're just gonna try those. Talk to people, be like, yo, what's up? I'm gonna talk to you about a dead guy. And they're gonna be like, okay. I mean, I have to go to my daughter's play in a, like, couple hours, but I, I, could, I guess I could spare some time. Okay. Let's go to another number. I dialed another number. I'm gonna call the bank first. Zero. One. I think, is it nine one? I think nine. One. A two. A nine. A four. A one. This is such awkward phone numbers. Four. Damn, I'm pretty sure the Rotary phone adds Today, so many I'm hours to gameplay. Robert Blake speaking. Hello, no. Robert. I no. need some help. That's not Robert. That's freaking Jerry doing a stupid young guy's voice. I asked about James Blackwood, Archibald Dr. Christopher Milton. I'm gonna ask about Blackwood. It's about James Thomas Blackwood. Uh, do you have a customer call back? I'm sorry, sir. I can't give you that kind of information. I told him that I was Dr. Milton. I said that I was Chief William Bailey. Ooh, what should I say? I'll call. I'll tell him I was Dr. I told him that I was Dr. Milton. My name is Christopher Milton, a renowned doctor and good friend of the Blackwood family, and I demand some respect. It, all, all right, sir. Please, just <laughs> it worked. hold on for a few moments. <clears throat> ah, yes. I have a customer listed as James Blackwood here. Um, I- okay, sorry. <laughs> I asked about the construction during the 60s. I asked about any recent activities. Let's Good. do that. I need to know about any recent banking activity in this account. What, uh, what kind of banking activity, sir? Well, you tell me. Any withdrawals, payments... Look, sir, Deposits. I'm really sorry, but I can only give that information to Mr. Blackwood himself. So that means the account is still active? Well, yeah. I can't give you this information, sir. You said your name was... Um, I won't waste your time anymore. Good day. <gasps> oh my god, a ghost. A ghost having a bank account. Who heard of such nonsense? Alright, so apparently that bank account is still active. Apparently. I'm just gonna be redundant. <laughs> Alright, let's see. His phone number is 0166. Zero. Six. Six, by the way, we're calling Bailey. Um, six, five, two, one, seven. Six, five, two, one. God damn, this takes forever. Seven. <clears throat> Are you serious? Is that not the right... What? Wait, oh, it disappeared! I couldn't even check it! What the fuck? Is that not the... <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna see real quick if that's the number. Alright, I'm officially a goddamn genius. Okay, now, that zero, I just noticed was actually not a zero, so it should be 1665, actually. Um, because that's four digits. Which I'm pretty sure is what we we're supposed to have in the beginning, but anyway, 1665, six, That was a nice little 217, there you go. Uh, his music is really great in this suspense here at seven. All right, Bailey, talk to me. What, what, huh, she's, Why? Why is this phone number not working? I checked it and I wrote I wrote it right with the 
Oh god. Let's call Jerry now. What is wrong with this? Oh, are you serious? Are you serious, Jerry? I will freaking find you and take the skin off of your feet. Let's go outside and cool down a bit. No, but seriously, that's kind of an issue. I should be able to call Bailey. I'm not really sure why it's not working. <laughs> Unless I called Bailey in the last video. No, I didn't call Bailey in the last. God damn it! No mail. What is? What do I deserve not to have mail? That phone number. Did he write it down in his journal? Maybe I have it all wrong. Maybe those ones are not ones. Excuse me. I had to have a little little thing of tea there. Uh, let's see. Uh, there was a phone number on the main page. It would seem like someone was planning to phone Mr. Bailey. I wonder what the call if the call was ever made. You know, a couple black balls. He's not even writing. Gosh dang. <laughs> what? I don't know. What? Are those not ones or something?